Death is a part of life in all cultures, and for Tucson, Brings Memorial Chapel has been a part of life for almost 80 years. As such, it provides us with a glimpse into our culture's past. Even though the original structure has undergone several expansions to accommodate an ever-increasing demand, many of the details of the facility and the services offered remain unchanged. The building is, is just amazing, and it's been added on to three times, and they just kept expanding it. They wanted to, at one point, maybe build a new facility, but they decided that people had come to know Brinks, and the roots were here. So instead of moving to a new facility, buying a new facility, or having one made, they decided to add on, and so they continually did that. So this part was added on. It seems that the process of bereavement and the needs of the families during times of need have not changed much over the years. And now, Brings is partnering with the Twilight Wish Foundation to help fulfill wishes of seniors. The Twilight Wish Foundation is um, a foundation, which is a 501c3 um, foundation, and it's all, the only thing this foundation does is to grant wishes to our seniors. Rose Muzzy is the Arizona Regional Director of the Twilight Wish Foundation and helped initiate the partnership with Brings to grant the first wish in celebration of a senior. Our first wish is a lady who um, misses seeing the four seasons and of course the snow. So we're granting a wish um, this week to an elderly lady that is um, celebrating her 79th birthday. So we have found a man um, Arizona Iceman, who is going to furnish the snow for us. Like Belinda, Rose is tuned in to the needs of families that are facing death, and she also sees the importance of honoring life and celebrating the positive. Um, we feel that the seniors have done so much for our generations and our past generations that we would like to respect them and remember them by all that they have done. Some of them have done volunteer work in their days, some of them have been foster parents, um, some of them have been veterans. I mean, I could go on and on what various um, avenues their lives have taken. Um, and we would really like to honor the, the ones that have um, some needs that they can't afford. Um, some of the simple needs that we take for granted are maybe a pair of glasses. But a lot of times when I'm working with some of my clients, the hospital has lost the glasses, or they've lost somewhere in the ambulance, or you know, hearing aids, teeth, you know, they lose them and then they don't have the money to afford to buy them again. So that could be a simple wish for us to grant, but very expensive for the client. The topic of death doesn't have to be an entirely pleasant affair to talk about, but at the same time, it doesn't have to be all gloom and doom. It is, however, probably safe to say that it's best not to steer clear of the topic altogether. It shouldn't be something that catches you off guard, and death often does. You know, we don't we think about um, older people dying. We don't think about younger people dying. And it's very, very important for people to have necessary conversations about what their loved ones want, what's important to them, because you never know. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow, which you learn real quick working in funeral service. For KUAT, I'm Luis Carrion. Now, to find out more about what is called the Twilight Wish Foundation and how you can help visit twilightwish.com, uh, excuse me, that's twilightwish.org, or call the Bring Funeral Home, and that number is 749-0392.